Now we have seen a decent turnout here for the tournament, so we're very excited to have this actually going on here. Yeah. And a Caesar, I yeah. like that. Uh, this matchup, <laughs> so going to Blastoise. I just never, I just never saw it. This matchup. Um, oh jeez. Here's the thing. Even <laughs> if a matchup is 90-10. It comes down to the experience of the player. Absolutely, and Kojic has put a lot of time into, the, into this character, uh, as as not good as he is. <laughs> but no, Kojic's last wave is very scary. Now we've never seen I, I've never seen anything from Gelato here, so this could be a really big turnaround here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all the dice control with the CP is going to punish. Oh, nice job. That, that, uh, that jump out of it. <laughs> oh, spooked him. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Nice job getting the wall splat there as well. The Sets tap. himself up. No. I like nice that tech. bubble setup. Yeah. That's really clever. Yeah. Nice tech getting the full conversion off of it. Not a whole lot of damage on the cool Jake though. He is going for that defense buff, which is pretty big here. That was amazing. That was really <laughs> nice. He's going to activate that Lottie. He's going to try and keep him in there as long as he can. Oh, defense debuff yeah, all the, the way to the top. The <laughs> Climb that pillar, baby. <laughs> That's going to be a punish. Ooh. No or punish. Not. Good snipe. Very that Riz is really smart. Just to kind of get him back off of there, you know? He is going to do a little bit more chip damage as well, which is huge. That full one just barely missed me. All right, gets the Shell Bash there. I like that. Tries to go for the Earthquake, but it's not going to connect for him just yet. Counter is going to come out. Gelato in a really scary position right now. Oh, that 2 y That 2 y is so fast. It's like... <laughs> Gives well, him the I scoops. Say, <laughs> I want to say it's it's his fastest move, even though it's like frame 13. So. Well, Blastoise is a turtle, yeah. so I mean, I guess you can't really blame him. <laughs> he needs it, something. It makes sense, it makes sense, yeah. Have you ever seen a turtle run? Those guys are fast, okay? Don't even, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Hey. I had a turtle run away on the once. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, that old story, uh, the, the tortoise in the air. Guess who won? <laughs> the tortoise. <laughs> anyway. He was faster. No. <laughs> he was. He was. All right, All right Gelato going to activate his burst here. The Lapras, oh, just kind of get a little pushback. I think, I think he, he could have punished him with the burst. Back. But either way. He could have, but you know what? It's better to play it safe than sorry. You know, Fair if you're going to get hit by Lapras, you might as well do it the right way. No, <laughs> not get hit at all. All right, Gordon just going to try and keep him out here, doing so much hit damage. Now, that, that oh. combo there is, that has so much potential for damage here. It's huge. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, Cool Jack getting the grab though, and burst attack, and that should be it, yep. Cool Jack gonna take game number one here in this best of three. Gelato seemed to be struggling a little bit with that matchup, but I don't blame yep. him, because you don't really see Blastoise played as much as you'd think. Absolutely not. <laughs> and that can make a big difference. Matchup knowledge is huge in this game. Yep, he's by far the least played character throughout the entire... Uh, uh, I would say the entire North America, but probably the entire... World. And is he still considered bottom tier is the real oh, question. Do you feel like Blastoise is bottom tier? Just know everybody agrees he's the worst. Um, See, that's the problem. I don't. P people will I argue don't it's between him and Blaziken. Or him, Blaziken, and Plan are like bottom three, almost guaranteed. Uh, but they all have you know tricks and trades that they can they can make them harder to deal with, or um, obviously the player can make them better than, than what they are tier wise. Yeah. But uh, keep in mind, tiers in this game are are almost non-existent. Like it, it's just a matter of like which character has to give each time winning. And, and, like, there is no like like bad characters. Now I do like this change here. I think that it's pretty smart for Gelato to get a, a change up in his character, maybe change up the play style and keep Cool Jake on his toes. Yep. I do also like the Pikachu, you know, I feel like this is, Pikachu's really quick, has a lot of great options, and I feel like there's a lot of things that Pikachu can do to get in on Blastoise a lot faster. The one thing I don't like is that Cool Jake needs so he probably knows this matchup like the back of his hand. Well, very true, but I haven't seen Cool Jake play, you know, Pikachu in a it's, long time. It's been a while. <laughs> Uh, me and him played at a, at a local uh, match where you played Pikachu. That's the first time in like six oh months. Oh my god. Yeah, but that Latios doing so much work. Climbing the pillar, man. Climbing the corporate ladder there. <laughs> Alright, pop and burst. This oh can be god. a really big problem for Cool Jake and Stuck. Rapid Very spin. Very nice rapid spin there. Yeah, yep. And that's super smart. You know, rapid spin can cover a lot of different options, whether or not it's a full counter. You know, there's a lot of vulnerable frames that Rapid Spin can catch and punish you for it. It's probably the best, uh, like, uh, counter, like, command counter, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the best command counter in the game. Yeah. <laughs> if not one of the best. Alright, Goldberg just trying to outzone him here. 
Yeah, we're seeing, um, we're seeing a lot of dark pulses coming out here from Cool Jake, but that was a beautiful homing in from Gelato. Yeah, very smart. You know, he was letting he was letting Cool Jake get away with a lot of stuff, and you can't yeah. let him do that. But this pop out might, might actually punish him. That might get him. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. He's gonna take away burst for a uh, small bit of time. He's and, the, the full combo, right? And that can make a really big difference. No, a nice counter attack there from Cool Jake, though. All right, Gelato gonna be popping his burst here. He's gonna be trying to apply a lot of pressure onto Cool Jake. Cool Jake just jumping. Does oh, get snuffed out. No, the ball splat didn't quite save him. Okay, hey, you know, some damage, better than no damage. Yeah. And Cool Jake now does have access to his burst. It's gonna be a big game changer. Yep. Look at that hit jam. It's massive. That means why gonna stuff out the, uh, the air -tier. And this like, is gonna combo. Hit? Wow. I, I don't think it'll fight KO. <laughs> Give him the good old-fashioned Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, still not going to be enough, though. That scaling is massive. All right, uh, Brick, if you're here, uh, go to Broken Tournament. Your, your match is being called right now. All right, nice job from Gelato. Still working his way in here. All right, calling the fight. Try, <laughs> try to get the uppercut, but it's not going to be enough just yet. 17 seconds left on the clock. Can Cool Jake time him out? Yeah. Very close, though. Cool Jake so, taking that. Solid, pretty solid 2-0 there. Yep, I just want to say again, uh, Brick, if you are here for Pokemon Tournament, your match is being called. Brick. <laughs>